This video shows the soft palate findings associated with a high risk of esophageal square muscle cell carcinoma using the endoscopic system with enhanced depth of field imaging. Conflicts of interest are as described. These are the key words. We previously reported that the endoscopic findings of melanosis, whitish epithelium, and bus dilation in the soft palate are associated with a high risk of esophageal squamous cell carcinoma. In this case series, we present the three soft palate findings using the new endoscopic system. The patient in case 1 was a 71-year-old man who was referred to our institute for endoscopic resection of early esophageal squamous cell carcinoma. The soft palate findings were melanosis, whitish epithelium, and bus dilation. White light imaging showed melanosis in the left soft palate. Narrowband imaging showed whitish epithelium and focal bus dilation. These are the observed findings in case 1. This is the esophageal region in case 1. We performed endoscopic submucosal dissection of this region, and the resected specimen was diagnosed as a squamous cell carcinoma with invasion to the lamina propria. The patient in case 2 was a 57-year-old woman with a history of endoscopic resection for esophageal squamous cell carcinoma. A new region was found on surveillance endoscopy. White light imaging showed melanosis in the left soft palate. Narrow band imaging showed diffuse bus dilation. It was possible to evaluate bus dilation without magnified endoscopy. These are the observed findings in case 2. This is the esophageal region in case 2. This region was histologically diagnosed as a square muscle carcinoma on biopsy examination. Aggression by hemostatic forceps was performed because we could not perform endoscopic resection due to severe fibrosis of a scar from previous endoscopic resection. The patient in case 3 was a 61-year-old woman with a history of endoscopic resection for esophageal squamous cell carcinoma. A new region was found on surveillance endoscopy. Narrow band imaging showed whitish epithelium. The color tone of melanosis became sharpened using the texture and color enhancement imaging mode. These are the observed findings in case 3.
This is the esophageal region in case 3. This region was histologically diagnosed as a squamous cell carcinoma on biopsy examination. We performed endoscopic submucosal dissection of this region and the rejected specimen was diagnosed as a squamous cell carcinoma with invasion to the lamina propria. The three previously defined soft palate findings were useful as indicators of a high risk of esophageal squamous cell carcinoma. The endoscopic system with enhanced depth of field imaging enabled us to evaluate the soft palate findings without magnified endoscopy.